Hi, I'm Glenn Whip with the Los Angeles Times. Fans of Parenthood and I guess cast members of Parenthood got good news this week. The show will be coming back for a sixth and final season. Joining us today to talk about Parenthood and all things coming up and past, Monica Potter. Hi, how are Welcome. you? Thanks for having me. You this bet. is really nice. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. So you found out Monday, right? I mean, was that like, an, or did you find out sooner and they just announced on Monday? We found out, we knew something was brewing, but we all found out um, on Monday yeah. so that we were, we were definitely picked up. So all of us collectively were, were very excited to because go back and to finish the season and the series, you know, in, in, a, in a great way. To, I'm sort of going to de dedicate this season to the fans because they, they're, you know, keep us going, really and truly. So yeah. it's been fun. I mean, when you finished, and it feels like this, Every time Parenthood finishes a season, it certainly has for the last couple of years. Yeah, that you don't know if it's the season finale or right. the series finale. We're always on the bubble. Yeah, we are. We never know if we're coming back. And I think the way that it's been written in the past, it could be the series finale. So we all, we are the last show to know. I feel like you know everybody's like, oh, we got to pick up. We're yeah. done. We're, and we're kind of left. You know, in the dark, we're calling each other. We're like, did we did we did get picked anything? up? Did we, yeah, did you hear anything? Or should we go? You know, look for new jobs. Um, should we get unemployment? What should we do? So, it's been, you know, that part I'm glad is done for now. And especially this year, it felt like that that final yeah. episode it could have worked yeah. either way. You know, I was and it's almost kind of scary if you're a fan of the show. It's like, is this the end? Right. You know? Right. Um, and we're it's, glad. It really is written that way, isn't it? I think, yeah, I think they have to. But I also think that even though this is the end of the series this year, I honestly don't think that the writers will, you know, tie everything up in a nice, you know, tidy bow and make it. I think that they'll leave it open. I really do, because that's just that's our style. Right. You know, it's left unperfected and undone. So, and that's how we sort of do the shows. Could leave it open to maybe a, a TV movie. Down the line, yeah. A we, TV we movie because be... the regular movie's been done. Right. But, right. You, well, maybe we could do not. Maybe we could do a feature or like like the Brady Bunch and go to Hawaii together. Or, <laughs> I think that would be really yeah. fun. Pick a locale that yeah. you've always wanted to go to. Even and, Disneyland. Right. We'll settle for that. I think that would be fun. It's <laughs> Keep cheaper. Keep the cost down. <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, the airfare for the crew. We could all cast. drive each other yeah. and Carpool, caravan. Right. I think it's it could be done. So. I don't know. I think this. I think I have no idea what's going to happen this season. Somebody was just asking me about <clears throat> what they thought, what happened with the characters. I'm like, I don't know. I never know. So yeah. Well, there's 13 episodes, so it's going to be a smaller right. kind of arc. And yeah, yeah. I, I imagine it's just they're going to pack mm -hmm. stuff in even more so than normal. You know. I know. I don't. I mean, I could be going to clown school this year. Who knows what Christina's <laughs> going to do? I think that would actually be fun. Last year, Dak said, he said, if we come back next year, Christina's going to be an astronaut because she does a lot of different things. So She does. I would be open to that as well, but we'll see. I have no idea what's in store. Do you have anything that you would like to see happen? No. No. Mm -mm. I, I, I read I, one interview where you said it may be nice to see your mother, finally. Everybody, you know... I Christina. thought that for a second, but I also think that that sort of adds to the mystery of Christina, you know, and I also don't think there's a budget to add two more great actors to the show. <laughs> so um, I would like to, in my mind, my mother is Carol Burnett, but, you know, she would be a pretty penny to put on the show. So I, that's who is in my mind. Um, it's not going to get better than that. So no, maybe it's you not. Just keep it oh, in your she's mind, staying. Right? Yeah. She is staying yeah. there. So, yeah. um, I, you know, I hear her voice a lot. Okay. Yeah. It's a good voice to hear. I hear many yeah. voices. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> God. What did you think? Of, I mean, this, you know, you end season four. Yeah. And just, you know, that's an emotional ringer of a show or of a season where. Right. Cancer, chemo. Uh huh. Good news. I mean, you couldn't. What did you? Did you have any expectations for season five? Like, whew, it's going to be kind of a breather sort of thing? Or did you I, get any You know what? I show? thought that I was going to get a breather last season. But when they said that I was going to, Christina was going to run for mayor, I called Peter and I was like, whoa, what is happening? What are we doing? I'm running for mayor. 
And, you know, the writers, and Jason explained it to me, that when she's, she's coming out of something that's so devastating, such as an illness like this, and how hard she fought for her health, that this just made sense. And in doing it, in hindsight, it made complete sense. You know, once, you know, my character went through all of this, it just, it, it felt like the right thing to do. Living out her dreams, carpe diem, seizing the day, all of that felt like a natural progression of the storyline. So... To me, it was it was it was a great adventure this last season, and then the school and yeah. So I don't I have no idea what we're gonna do this year, and I'm leaving it up to that. I just want to have fun. I want to laugh more this year. Right. Oh. You've you've had enough crying. Yeah. For. Yeah. The lifetime of a show. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I think I'm good for a little while. I <laughs> I mean I don't mind it. Well, it's funny, you know, but, some 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 websites that do recaps of mm -hmm, the show mm -hmm. don't call them recaps. There's one website that call them cry caps, <laughs> and I think they rate the show on one to yeah. five tiers. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. like stars, but they're yeah, teardrops. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's a fun game. Yeah. Like the what? episode, um, the one where you have to go and and pick up Max at uh, camp. Oh yeah, that, that was one. a solid four or five. That was. Tier episode, I forgot yeah. about that one. That was a solid four or five for sure. <laughs> but there's also a drinking game. Really? Yeah, I don't do it, but um, of course not. No, but there. It. I guess if somebody cries on the show, you have to drink, or it. I'm like, then people are just completely loaded by the end of the episode. Like. Yeah. On the floor, can't get up because everybody cries on the show. It's the game is sponsored by Dos Equis or something. Totally <laughs> by Anheuser Busch. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, it, people really, we have a, a cult following that you know that play these games. Mm. It's true. Do you going back to that episode? I mean, yeah. I we have a colleague here who wanted me to ask you about that sure. particular scene in the car uh -huh. where you, you know, you're driving back home and you climb in the back seat, take off. Did, how many takes uh, was that? Um, probably about four. Mm -hmm. you, they, we have a great crew. We have three cameras going at all times. It's sometimes like a reality show. Um, a scripted, re well, I guess, I don't, whatever. I won't get into that. I don't know. Um, but, you know, it, it was just one of those things where it just happened and we did it and we got it and we moved on. And that's like, that's how we shoot. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, it's a really powerful scene. I mean, it's just playing into you know, as a parent, how much you hurt right. when your kids hurt. It's like the worst thing. It's it is the worst thing. It is the worst thing, and and for kids to get bullied, you know, it it it's the most horrible thing. I I mean, one of the most horrible things that a kid can go through, and as a parent. I mean, I want to go and, you know, pull over Rebecca De Mornay sometimes. And rocks the cradle. Did you see that scene when yeah. she goes to the swings? But you can't because you'll get, you'll get thrown in jail. But <laughs> it hasn't stopped. No, I'm kidding. I, I just feel like as a parent, you want to protect your kids at all costs. And for our writers to be able to show how these things happen and, and people relate to these stories and how devastating they can be to a kid, <clears throat> I think... I think those are, you know, those are the moments that I will always treasure that we've done um, because they ring true to me as a parent as well. So, do you get much feedback from other, from viewers or people? No. Um, from, I mean, I know you did from the the cancer arc, right? Uh, but even from moments like that where you're, uh, more your so, kids being bullied, yeah, yeah more so. Yeah. And the cancer was the one thing, but more so as a parent, as as you know. Um, is, is parents collectively, I think, all of us respond and are in this together and feel like we are our, our child's, you know, we're championing for our child, our children. And so many parents will come up to me at the grocery store and say, I love when this happened with Max, when you did the dance with him. And yeah, sure. that was one of my, that I think is my all-time favorite moment really? of the series, dancing, mm -hmm. yeah, with him. The slow, teaching him the slow How dance. To, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, I don't know, I think... Those are the strongest, um, the strongest things that happened in the series are with my children. The cancer was was a great storyline, but you know, just wanting to do right by them and not being the perfect parent, and um, 
showing other people, our viewers and fans, that there are struggles daily, and um, you know, sometimes not having the answer. Yeah. And you know, like me, I, I'm your parent, mm -hmm. and um, you you want to do the best that you can, but it sometimes, you know, can be a little overwhelming and difficult to navigate. So. I think that's one of the great things about Christina is that. Um, She's very relatable. You, she can be irritating, and then empathetic in equal measures. She's that wasn't not very like nice. Some, I am that sorry. That was not very nice. I said she. I was not referring to you. I can be really yeah. irritating. Um, but you're right. I can't. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll go into that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'll let you know yeah. what's going on with me personally. Um, no, I'm just. Kidding. I. You're right. She can be, and but that's why I love her. You know. Right. But yeah. go on. I interrupted you. No, it was. <laughs> I did. No, well, I was just saying that I think that's what makes her sort of an interesting character for right. fans. Yeah. I mean, and, and there is a real, um, you know, parenthood. I mean, so many characters on the show, but yeah. I think a lot of people kind of look at that character. And if you saw Christina maybe at your kid's school, mm. you would think of her and you'd see her one way, like, okay, there's a mom that's like this perfect mom. Mm -hmm. But then you wouldn't see this other side of her, too, mm -hmm. the struggles that she goes through. So it's an interesting character. Yes, that's really deep. Yeah? yeah? I never thought about how I would view her as another parent at my kid's school. Yeah. God, I don't know if I'd like her. I mean, there, there are certain things about her that I do that I love, but it, I think in the first two seasons, I found her to be a little bit grating as well, you know? Mm -hmm. And that was a lot of feed. I think that was some of the feedback. But you're right. I I I, w I don't know how I would pin her because she's many different things. Now, how's that a, as an actress? If you find you kind of find the character a little bit grating, do you want to? Is it an inclination to sort of smooth over? There that? is. I'm not yeah. going to lie to you. There is an inclination that you want. You want the viewers to like this character. You do as as a human being. You know, acting is one sure. thing, but I've played parts before that weren't necessarily lovable. Right. So I um, I want to stay true to who she is. She can be high strung and she can complain a lot and she does things that I wouldn't ever do. But um, I think as the years go on, she um, she chills out a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, I think she kept a stash of that stuff she had for the medicinal marijuana, and hopefully we'll visit that this year, but I don't know. <laughs> see, you do have things you want to see happen yeah. in season six. Well, yeah, that's, that's right. a yeah. given, but... Um, well, that's the thing, is that maybe the, the, the when you get cancer, mm -hmm. when you're diagnosed with cancer, I mean, you're, you're completely losing control. Mm -hmm. You have no control anymore, so I would imagine that that would have been sort of a learning thing for her. To let go. Yeah. I think that's a big thing that's hard for her to do, is to let go. It's hard for me to do. Yeah. You know, I know a lot of women, it's hard for them to do, but um, I think that was a turning point for her, for sure. She has to let go and, and you know, let her higher power take over because it, it's, it's not easy to do as a mom, for sure, because you want to be there to control everything right. and make things better and fix and, you know, but sometimes you just can't, so. Do you, do you think you're actually, like, a better parent, a better mom for being on this show? Um, because you've gone through sort of a lot and you know, I mean, the show brings out, I mean, you have to kind of empathize and yeah, deal with these things. Yeah, you're right. Have you learned anything I have about learned, I've learned a lot. Parenthood? I have learned. Yeah. Sometimes when I get a little feisty, which isn't that often, Yeah. my kids will say, Mom, this isn't a damn parenthood episode. And I'm like, Everything is no. It you know they. It, I have learned so much from her. I've learned just to calm down and and you know, but also how to be a better parent for sure. Right. To be more attentive sometimes. I mean I'm really attentive to my own kids, but I mean, to just relish the small moments. You know, um, to slow down. Mm-hmm. For Step sure. Back. Step back yeah. and slow down. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that slogan. Step, Step back. back and slow down. Okay. We'll have the bumper sticker I think made we on the should. way out. Yeah. Um, I like it. And then with with her um, this season, I mean, you mm -hmm. were mentioning 
the running for mayor. Right. And I read an interview with you where you were saying that was actually harder for you than than the cancer. That was. That was harder. Peter and I talked about it. And we both discussed it. And he's like, well, what am I going to be doing at home cooking? And then everyone's saying, oh, we don't like Dad's cooking. And he's like, where's the storyline going to go? And I said, I was worried about it because I'm like, I have to give speeches in front of people and, you know, learn all the jargon and 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 mayor, I have to wear suits now, I can't wear relaxed clothes, like everything went through my mind. Um, but I found it to be more challenging, for sure, than, well, yeah, I found it to be, it was different, it was just different. Um, but I'm glad that they did it. Yeah. I'm glad that they did it, it made sense. Um, you know, she sort of looked at as a champion in, in all on all fronts, to me anyway. Um, and she did something that took a lot of courage. Um, I almost said a different word, but I don't think it allowed. That's good. You okay. Self-control. Yeah, I did. It's one I'm of those holding it back. On <laughs> Learning, um, but um, I just feel like she she definitely did something that was out of her comfort zone because she was at a place before that was so tough, and she's like, "Why not? Yeah, let's go." But it doesn't sound necessarily like you're sad that she lost. No. No, no, no. I want her home. Yeah. I, I'm so happy she lost. I was praying. If only for the casual clothes, right? The casual sloppy pants. Yeah, no. I really am glad that she lost because then what? Then it turns into Benson. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't want to be the, I love that show. That's a I don't want to be the, Totally. There you go. Maybe, you know, maybe the next. Could you imagine? Right. It's, you know what? I'm dumb. I should have done. I should have pushed for that. The season's yeah. ending. The series is ending. I could have my own spinoff, like Benson. It, it is not too late. It's not too late. Right. It's never too late. Because it's going to be 13 episodes. Right. You'll have time in the spring to. I, I don't know when it's. Have they told you when it will be on the schedule? Like, is it going to be one of these things where it's a mid-season start, or do you know? Ooh, I don't know. Coming back in the fall. I know we go back to work in July. Right, and then so when they air those is yeah. Usually September, so we normally go back in July, right. and then we yeah we start airing in September. Yeah, I just wondered with the shortened oh, schedule, oh, maybe they would. Oh, right. Maybe, maybe they they're hold holding it. They have a lot of new shows coming out, right? right. So maybe they're going to see how those go. I was just trying to work out the time to develop the spinoff. Right. Oh, I've already got it going inside right now. Yeah. I'm trying to think of cast members from that show, Benson, who would like to do this show. What would we call it? Christina? That's that's the obvious title. Yeah, I don't know. No, we can do uh, better than that. Boss Braverman? I don't know. Double Bs? Double Bs. <laughs> Well, what do you, I mean, what do you... Uh, be, be squared? Yeah, be squared. Okay. Perfect. There oh, that's go. perfect. It's there super cute. ABC Family is going to be all over it. That's, that's, stay tuned for that's, Be Squared. That's the home. That's. Do you watch a lot of ABC Family with, with a, you have a nine-year-old, right? I have an eight-year-old. Eight-year-old, okay. I, um, no, we, we're there's... watching... I try to do Discovery Channel, and I like Nat Geo, and I like all of those shows. We're sort of watching a lot of Chopped lately. You know yeah, that show. Yeah, okay. I no, like my it. My kids never got in. Chopped is the... It's very good. My little yeah. one likes to cook, so we got into Chopped, and now we just watched some weird show, Mother of All Talent. It's a reality show. I don't know what's happening on my TiVo. So I just watched some stuff, and then... I watched a Pauly Shore movie the other day. It, because I, of the eight-year-old. Because I just turned it on and I couldn't turn it off. Yeah. Something's wrong. I just start drooling and I, I think it's like watching Pauly Shore and it's okay. I don't know. But this is what happens when you've ended. Right. You know, you don't have to go to work anymore. Yeah. The this, this season is ended watch and Pauly you have Shore. Some, mm. some downtime. Right. Good job, Monica. Right. Way so. to go. Way to be creative. No, I have another but job. She's that in school. Right. Daughter's in school. Right. So what are you going to do all day? Right? Probably sure. <laughs> oh, uh, God, that's sad. Yeah. I'll get better. Um, well, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. I was about to say something, but 
Can I keep this cup when we're finished? Sure. Great. A little souvenir. Mm -hmm. We'll get you that and the uh, the bumper sticker with the uh, the slogan on the I already out. forgot the slogan. Um, well, we'll have to watch this back we again. We rewind we'll it. Re re we'll be reminded. Okay. It sounds, I mean, it sounds like obviously glad to be coming back. Yes, very glad. Very if glad. For no other reason, it'll get you out of the house. Mm -hmm. No more Polly Shore. Right. And, no more Polly uh, Shore. And then, and then you got to figure out yeah, what I'm going to do next. What you're going to do if, I don't, if the spinoff doesn't. Right. If that doesn't, yeah. you know, pan out, we'll see. I think I'm going to take. I'm working on my website. I have a website that I'm doing. I'm doing a lot of my own little creations and things. So that's a lot of fun. I'm working on a little home line. And I'm in escrow. I found out the home that I grew up in went on the market. It's been abandoned for six years, and um, I'm hoping to buy it back so I can go and, and, and renovate it. It's in Cleveland, and hopefully bring some commerce back to the city for my little business. I'm, that's my dream. That's my goal. How did you find that home was on the market? I've been stalking it for for ten years. Really? My parents sold it to a man who was an, a wonderful guy. He um, unfortunately passed away in the house, and we gave him the house with everything in it that we had owned: the dining room table, the wallpaper is still the same. So it looks as if time stood still when we gave him the home. A friend of mine sent me pictures. It's on a tiny little street. It's right on the lake. Great memories. Um, so I'd like to go back, and when I went, I went back to Cleveland a month ago, and just for a day to visit and see the house and see what was going on with it. And it just, it spoke to me like, "Come save me and help me." I know that sounds weird, and I am weird, but I'm not crazy. But it, it was like I just wanted to take it and fix it and help it. So I will hopefully, hopefully, we'll know in the next few days if the title's clear, we can buy it, and um, just give it some TLC and and start my little business, have that be the face of the business. So, And the business being like a... Mrs. Potter Home Line. It's mrspotter.com and I have all of my little things that I'm doing from home decor, um, oh, cool. recipes, um, yes, skin care, everything. So it's, it's I'm doing candles to start and textiles. Mm. And um, my the way I was brought up was sort of like to make your house a home no matter what your income level is. And my dad was an inventor, and my mom would clean the malls. So um, he would make his inventions in the basement, and and you know it was just a great, great childhood. And That's I kind of want to, I want to do that, and I want to you know continue on the journey that where he he's passed away, but um, continue on the journey um, where he sort of left off with me ten years ago. So I'm restarting that, and it's really fun. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That will keep you away from those. Polly Shore movies. videos. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That sounded weird. He, I don't. I've never watched a Polly Shore video. I don't know what those are, but I've watched a couple of his movies. Yeah. Yeah. This well, is going really well. It's, it has been. Congratulations. Great, great show. Congratulations on the uh, fifth season. Oh, thank you and very much. Coming back for the sixth. Yes. And for coming back. Yes. Um, coming down here today. I'm so happy to do this. My grand I was telling your girl, Lena, um, my grandfather used to work at the Cleveland Press. Yeah. So this to me is a huge treat because I would go downtown with him every Saturday and see his office and and I it's just like the Cleveland Press. I mean, well it's no longer there and we have the plain dealer now. So I'm kind of obsessed with newspaper buildings <laughs> and this whole I love it here. There's candy jars and fun people and Although that one guy scowled at me before, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> but it, I just, we don't I like feel, him, no. yeah. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, the scowl. Roger, right? right. Yeah. No, I don't know his name. But it, I feel like this. It, I just feel like I'm at home. So thank you. Thank you. But I am taking this. So. <laughs> and for more uh, television and Emmy coverage, please uh, go to latimes.com. <laughs> thanks for joining us.